Lee Garda Repair. Make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification because y'all niggas be slacking it. I don't know how y'all be getting my videos late, but make sure you hit that bell button so that way you get it on time every time. You feel me? So hit that like button again. I said hit the subscribe button and we're going to hit our play button. So following from part one, this is part two. So next thing I'm doing is uh, what I'm doing. I guess I'm going to be removing both uh, the axles on both sides. Um, there's you just take a uh, striking pry bar and there's a certain way you can uh, you can tap on it if you pay attention to this video in full screen you might have to pause it to get a good view but you see where I got the uh, the flat part of the uh, pry bar resting on and then just give it a couple taps don't hit it hard to the point where you trying to destroy something or you just weak as shit don't do that shit no so I can say the f-bomb YouTube let you cuss now in hey, moderate cussing you, know, you can't be like like fuck I don't I can't be getting all crazy with it though but um long as I'm demonstrating when I'm demonstrating I'm cool like how I always been so I'm tapping out the uh, right side and be careful uh, striking it because you hit it too hard it will fall off onto the ground you could damage your actual at least the the bearings that's inside of the cage inside of the uh, inside of the joint you don't want to mess those up and next one the passenger axle is way longer than the uh driver's side so uh you wanted to maneuver it out or at least pull your hub away from you and when you pull it away from you it should just come straight out hold on we got email um who could also do 9 a.m today that's better than 10 30 oh i'm gonna go look at a shop today i'm about to hit him up wish me luck y'all we're gonna go see a shop today at um nine o'clock and it's in an industrial uh, uh, complex, and hopefully I can get it. And then it is zoned for automotive use, so clap it up. Bleak is making initiations to go uh, go find a shop. I can say that. Um, what am I doing? Oh, this axle was a little floppy. Like, there's a certain way you can straighten out an axle. You just, you know, you kind of, kind of got to stroke it. Pause. That is some gay ass shit. But you get what I'm saying, right? No pun intended. And um, next, I'm going to take off this. Uh, that's like in a, a little housing for the axle housing, the adapter thingy that go into the uh, oil pan and stuff. That's held in my four 13 millimeter bolts. As soon as you get those bolts out, um, you're going to grab a pry bar or something flat. And you're going to um, just kind of lightly pry it out. Or you can take a like a dead, like a rubber dead blow or something like that and lightly tap it. But I would just use a pry bar uh, just to be on the safe side. And these bolts don't have to be that tight. They're not tight as hell uh, in the first place. My lighter situation is uh, compromised, but we're going to uh, work off of this one. I don't, I don't like this at all. My lighter situation is for sure compromised. This is bad, meaning I won't be able to smoke throughout this whole video probably. I might run out of fluid or something. I'll be take my puff, y'all. Next, I'm taking off four. Uh, inverted torques, I forget the size, it could be uh, E4 or E8, who knows, or E6, I don't know, but between E4 and E8, those are the sizes you're going to be using, you're going to use E6 too, I believe, and um, as soon as you back those off, um, it does free spin, so you don't have to worry about anything, uh, put it in a car in neutral, uh, as soon as you take those uh, bolts off and just grab you like a pry bar or something, or just tap it or whatever you guys do, just to remove it off of the flange, let me take my puff. How many stoters we got here too, y'all? I know we got some stoters. Hold on, let me uh I gotta make me an ashtray real quick. Hold on. Out of my kids' uh juice box. <laughs> this is hilarious, yo. Um, see how I got that loose? It dropped down with ease just like that. Now you're gonna leave the uh the front dry shaft in. You don't have to take it out. And hold on real quick. Oh, uh next I'm taking off uh this is, let me just use this trash. Um, it's four 16 millimeter bolts that go around the uh, front differential. As soon as you take those off, just leave one bolt in there. Don't be that guy 
that whereas you take all of them out like I did well mine didn't fall out it could have fell out but I didn't fall out um I was saved by I was just saved pretty much because it was still bonded to the surface from being on there for a long time so I know going back in you're going to at least need one bolt to hold it in because that shit will fall um the front differential itself is light it is not heavy meaning you could carry it out I even had it out with one hand it was literally no problem I was Gucci and just sit it off to the side I've done this job plenty of times plenty of times when I left the uh, the front differential still connected with the dry shaft on. I just uh, had it set up, like had it supported on something, not laying on the ground, but it was supported on something. You could do that, but me, I want maximum room. So this is what I'm doing. It's coming out. It's coming out. And two, this be a good time for you to replace some seals or whatever you is you need to do. And you go right there because you got it all out. Um, see how light it is. See, I'm holding it with one hand, holding it like a baby. It's lighter. That front differential is lighter than my son. That front differential weighs no more than 20 pounds, probably. Could weigh less than that, probably. Who knows? I don't know. All right. Hold on. Oh, there's two 10 millimeter bolts. Hold on. Let me take my puff. Two 10 millimeter nuts. You don't have to take it off all the way like I did. Just back it off a little bit because this is a, a bolt on the other end and it goes into a slit into the pan the oil pad that's it rested there so as soon as you loosen those nuts is one on the right side and one on the left side of the side of the engine and as soon as you loosen those two just slide the uh, line that's the transmission line you don't have to separate the transmission line from the transmission itself you really don't it's not in your way if you want to be an overachiever Go ahead. I remember when I first did this job one or two times, I probably did that, but last bunch of jobs I did, I just left the lines onto the uh, transmission. So just move those out of the way. See how I'm screwing it back in? I'm just loosening it, and then the lines are just moved down out of this. It's a slit that, or a slot, or a slit, whatever you want to call it, that it rests in. And you see what I'm doing right now? And then lift up off of it, out of the slot, and just let it sit there, and you Gucci. You're going to need those lines kind of like loose not loose but those those two nuts we we unbolt because we got oil paint bolts to get to next i'm taking off the oil not the oil uh pressure sensor this is the oil level sensor and uh the ones at the pans optional if you want to take the whole thing out you can uh, don't never take them out unless i'm replacing them or i need to clean them off do whatever it is real good i don't know but i'll just leave them on the pan Next, there are two uh, two inverted torques. I don't know if they E4 size, probably. But I went in there with a ratchet. And this one is the bracket for the O2 sensor connectors. Do not separate the O2 sensor sockets away off of the bracket. Just leave them connected onto the bracket. And you Gucci. And I always leave the bolts in the bracket because the bolts ain't going to go nowhere. It hangs in there just fine. I take my puff hold on. All right, let's see where we at for the video wise. All right, almost halfway through the video. That is good. You see how tedious this job is? You take your time. The way I did this job is not going to go smooth for you. I promise you. Well, I say, I promise you. Everything about this job I did went smooth. I didn't really have no problems only because I done this job a shitload of fucking times. I done this job a shitload of times. Oh, excuse me, I'm about to cough getting all hype and shit y'all probably laughing um what i'm doing yeah uh what are we doing oh i'm finished taking off the uh the, the bolts because i had loosened them and i went in there with a ratchet uh, electric ratchet just to make the process faster now you see how i got it hanging there that's how you're going to leave everything you don't need to waste no extra time doing extra nothing pretty much next i'm draining the train um the engine oil i mean uh the drain bolt is 17 millimeter and don't use a 12 point Make sure you get in there real good, budget, and uh, just let it flow out. And as the oil pan, oil, it, like it's draining, the engine oil is draining, I'm going to start removing my um, my engine uh, pan bolts. It's like literally 300, 300 and 500, 300 and 500,000 oil pan bolts. 
all around the pan. It means exactly like that. Yes, I over exaggerated. I can't even say the damn word, but I meant exactly what I meant. Your arms is going to be tired. If you ain't fit, if you ain't in shape, and you up here worrying about doing some oil engine oil pan boats, this ain't for you because you're going to be tired. Removing them and tightening the boats. And you have to go back over it in a tighten sequence pattern. I'm just saying. Might not be for you. But if you got your upper arms is cool, you got stamina, you Gucci. You don't have to worry about this. Especially, too, you have to maneuver this pan now. If you laying on your back, which is not that bad because the distance between a car and the ground is not that bad versus the lift. I got hella distance. And that's when I got a trans jack. And, two, you have to be careful because that gasket going to be sloppy going back in. Um, anybody got trouble putting the gasket back in, going and um, installing it? They keep being sloppy everywhere. Hit me up in the email, legotorepairgmail.com. I'll give you my, my tricks. If you follow my Instagram, then you would you would see most of my savvy tricks or most of the savvy stuff I do on Instagram I do not show on YouTube but just hit me up in the email and I'll hook you up on how to get that gasket in no problem I think something leaked on me and I'm up here I'm checking my arms or something whatever but I'm taking off the there are three trans long transmission boats that go until where the uh, axle at you'll see because it is the longest of the longest and then in the very front where the transmission meets the engine there are also uh, four other long boats. Uh, those are boats are different sizes. Longest. I've done this job a shitload of times. You can mix the boats up all you want. I know exactly where they go. So make sure you got your order down pack. And you can loosen them out one by one. You can loosen them out corner by corner. I at least do one. Uh, I, I do one side and then I go on the other side and then just start loosening them. Either way, it's got to come out regardless. And if you can't get your oil boat and your oil pad out after get all of the pad boats out, then you still got a boat left in there. Because that pan should come out within without I mean come out within a small force of prying. You get what I'm saying? Alright, um what am I doing next? Oh uh, I'm trying to I meant to give y'all like a tip. Uh, oh, make sure you get new engine oil pan boats because these are torqued to yield. And not only that, they're aluminum. As soon as you torque them, bitches, you can't use them again. And you lose this integrity strength from using it again. And then, too, I had cases where I'm doing this job and um, removing, it, removing it or tightening it is either a snap or either it, it was or it broke coming out. And you don't want that problem. Luckily, I was able to get them out, no problem. But get new boats when you're doing the engine oil pan. Fresh oil, fresh a lot of things. Replace as much seals as you can while you got everything out. But every seal and gasket you see, that's what you should be replacing since you got it out. I'll be helping you save money. Shit, I did a job with the... Uh, boy, what is this picture work done? That's cool. Everything was accessible since I had this suspension out already right there. You can do a bunch of things within this job. Suspension is one of them. You want the alignment too after this. Uh, this car didn't need an alignment because I was key. I was straight between the steering shaft and the rack was probably where it's supposed to be. You can mark those. I didn't need to mark them. I just knew where it needed to be and I was Gucci as far as alignment go. Not all the time I get lucky like that. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But realistically, I'm telling you, even if you don't think you need an alignment, just get the fucking alignment. And what am I doing? I'm getting the rest of my uh, bolts. I should have at least like maybe like 10 more or well, less than that, who knows? But I did say it was three hundred and fifty five. What is it? Three hundred thirty? I said three hundred and five thousand uh, oil pan boats. It means exactly what the fuck I said. It's a lot. It's a fucking lot. Like I said, your arms is gonna be tired. Your arms is gonna be tired as shit. So if you can endure that shit, then this damn job is for you. You feel me? I'm, I'm glad YouTube eased up on a cursing thing. Cause I say what the fuck I want to say. It's my video. I should be able to educate the way I should be educating. You feel me? The two I've been. I don't know. I've just been a little ramped up lately. Bro. Like I just been having this go get it mentality. Like I'm just let's just get it the fuck done. Let's go.
That's some tight time I've been on. And uh, what, what we doing? What we doing? Oh, I got one more boat. So it's a transmission boat. <laughs> one that goes into the transmission itself. Because the engine is cocked. You won't notice that. But as a, a inverted torque, it's one special boat. And this boat do not come in your oil pan kit. And this boat is not aluminum. The boat is steel, and you could be it could be reused again. Make sure you put this boat up and don't lose it. Or that's your ass. So you're gonna be finding a boat to match. But that boat is for the transmission and so, and it goes through the pan. Um, what am I doing next? What I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, I'm switching out my um inverted torque to something else. I guess I was trying to get the right size. Well, well, I might put it on my gun or something to make the job faster. But yeah, I guess I'm still. Oh, I, I left my I got front boat to take out. As soon as I get those out, and um, I'll usually leave like one bolt in the pan. If the bolt comes loose on my last bolt, that's when I do it. If my bolt, if the pan, I mean, if the pan come loose after I do the, the last bolt, I always leave the bolt. And if the pan is not moving, it's just still glue bonded on there, I'll take all of them out and I do a light pry. But make sure I got something underneath to support the pan because that pan ain't heavy. The pan is just awkward. And it's not sturdy. Let me say it again. The pan is awkwardly shaped. And it is not sturdy. There's a chance you will drop it. Because you're going to be sitting on an uncomfortable angle. It's not that it's heavy. It's the angle you're going to be on. But my pan, see how my pan dropped out? Cool. I got the transmission jack right there. I'm Gucci. I'm good to go. And um, let me start. Yeah, you know, I guess. Uh, gonna start wrapping up this video pretty soon that was pretty quick within the next couple of minutes i guess i'm still going to finesse my way around you still got some of them cooling lines power steering cooling lines ac lines or whatever lines or whatever lines that's in the way in the front you need to finesse them out do not bend do not break do not crack do not damage those lines it means when i say finesse it means you need to smoothly on some smooth shape Get that oil pan out without messing up shit. You feel me? If you can master that, you can tackle a lot of jobs like these. And I want to work on work on my lighting too for darker spots so y'all can see more thoroughly. And I wish I could have told you step by step. But even if I did tell you step by step, I would want to get paid more money, not from YouTube, money from people personally for showing somebody step by step how to do this. When I get my shot, my shot. I'm gonna be doing like breaking do, doing like catalogs for indi like individual repairs, certain repairs only for big jobs, not for small jobs. And I'm gonna sell them to people, and it ain't gonna be cheap. It's gonna to be to the point where it's, I'm saving you money. It's either you wanna buy my video or you wanna take it to the shop type deal. Either way, you're gonna save money. My light flashing that means it's battery dying. See, how I got the pan out. It should drop down, not fall out. Repeat myself drop down you shouldn't have to angle it in do all of this weird shit it should just drop down i'm going back in you might have to angle it but don't mess up nothing oh the uh, oil pan gasket is always glued you have to take something flat i tried using my pry bar it wasn't really nothing it was too, my blade was too thick so i ended up using a, a flat blade a screwdriver and uh it had worked out fine for me and the gasket is i mean of course is going well, I was gonna say one piece, but I really meant to say is it comes out in one piece. Now some gaskets break away and shit. This one can come out all together. I never had a gasket that didn't separate its own. Those old shitty, crappy Japanese cars or American cars that do that. Um, BMW, I like this because it comes off as one piece because it's less for me to clean between the block side and the pan side. Let me say it again. It is less for me to clean on the block side and the engine side. And that's how I feel about things. So. Listen, I'm Leak Auto Repair. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that bell button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'll holler at y'all. E90 engine oil pan replacement. You got it here. Leak is the trendsetter. Nobody was able to be nice like me, but I got you. I holler.